Are you in need of beefing up your outdoor lighting at your house? At nighttime, are there dark areas that could become potential trip hazards? I know for me at my house it is. Um, I'm going to be looking at the LED solar wall, and I'm going to be comparing it to the Atomic Beam Sunblast. And I know what you're thinking. Didn't you just review that? And I did, and I'm going to link it at the very end, my review video, if you did not see this. But what I'd like to do is, since these are similar items, is I'm going to do a comparison review um, during this review video. Anyway, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I do do some other consumer gadgets, some household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to and I think it's a lot of fun. If that's something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every single time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's look closer into this LED solar wall. First, I want to say that this product was sent to me free of charge. Um, I am not compensated by the company, but I do want you to know that I did not actually purchase this. But my stipulation is that I still get to give whatever kind of review I think that this thing deserves. I just wanted you to know that. If you end up liking this product, I will leave a link down in the description. Um, that way you can purchase it for yourself. It runs about $26 um, on Amazon. I just wanted you to know that first. So let's do a quick unboxing. All right, so inside... It looks like I have a bag with directions, some sort of a mounting piece, and then what looks to be like the solar wall. Look at that, how all the solar, I'm sorry, this is a solar, but all the LED lights are all the way around it. That's kind of cool. Let's look at the size difference between this and the Atomic Beam Sunblast. See the size difference? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some of the directions. I'm going to check this out, and then... We'll put it to the test and I'll end up re wrapping up and reviewing it. But this is our first look at the LED solar wall. It looks sort of like a spaceship. <laughs> Let me take a look closer at the directions. All right, so after reading through the directions, um, I, I've noticed how I can hook up the mounting hardware. If you see on the side of this here, there's like a, a ribbed edge side. And in, inside here, there's a matching side. So you want to make sure you click those two together um, because that's how it will click and hold. Um, there's also this bolt right here that has almost like a squared off on the inside and this part right here is squared off So you're actually supposed to put it on that side so that square piece fits in that little area um, Let me say just pull it in there. There we go. And then There's this nut on the other end that you just tighten it off So it does come with screws standard screws that you're supposed to just screw this into something outside And you can see the screw holes that are right here this is multi-directional, so this thing you can just adjust it wherever you need and then tighten it down. Um, one thing I noticed right off the bat different about the mounting hide hardware is you remember the Atomic Beam Sunblast had these kind of holes that I could screw it in and I could take it off pretty easily and put it on if I needed to? Well, this one is once you screw it in, it's in until you take the screws out. I just wanted you to know that. Also, in the directions it said that you need to set this out in a high sun area. Makes sense, right? Because it's solar. But before you use it the first time, you need to leave it out there for two days. So just so you know, a full two days of sunlight this thing needs before it can fully um, be used. So I'm going to do that. And in a couple days, we're going to come back and we're going to put this thing to the test. I'll see you then. Okay, it's been two days. Well, clearly, because I'm wearing a different shirt now. Anyway, I've had the solar wall light out in the sun for two days. And after reading through the directions, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the three settings, okay? So there's this button here on the bottom that you click and hold for about five seconds, and it blinks once. That's how you know you're on setting one. And what that does is all the lights are on a medium light, and then the motion sensor, if you trip the motion sensor, it brightens, okay? Then there's setting two, which just is a medium light, okay? No motion sensor. And then there's setting three. You got to click the button up for the third time. And that is just a high motion sensor. So it's off all the time until there's a motion sensor. I will say they say on setting one, it lasts for about six hours. So let me go over that again. So there's this button. Click and hold. Ready? All right. So that click. Now, if I want to go to motion two, and now if I want to go to the third one, all right, you see how that worked? And that's how you do the different settings. Now, you cannot go from one to three, so you have to go through the whole cycle. So you click and hold for about five seconds, setting one, click it again, setting two, click it a third time, 
for setting three. But what I want to do is I want to try these out at night and compare these two. I want to see which motion sensor is better. To be honest with you, they look very similar. I'm kind of thinking they might be the same. Um, I want to see which one's brighter. And then at the end, when I give you my final review, I'll let you know which one I like the best. Right now you see the solar wall light. This is level one, where it always has a dim light on and when you get closer to it, it gets brighter. So you can't see it, but over on the left is still where my atomic beam is. So I'm gonna start getting closer to these lights to see when they turn on, which one turns on first. Oop, atomic beam definitely turned on already. Let's now go focus over here. And see when it turns brighter. Oop, there it goes. Now, I should say I'm only about five feet away, so the sensor on that one definitely is not as good as the one over here. Um, but that's what it looks like. I'm going to try a few of the other settings and continue the test. I have both of the lights, so it's just sensing me as I walk forward with the motion. I did adjust the solar wall, the one on the right, so the sensor was facing me. I guess the way I had it charging, the sensor was, didn't have a clear sight of me, so I wanted to make sure that there was a fair test. So as we walk closer, we'll see which one turns on now. Oh, definitely the atomic beam. At this point, I'm about 10 feet away, which is a better range than the last time I did the test. So now I'm going to take you inside for my final review. So for about the past three days, maybe four days, I've been looking at the solar wall light, and I've been looking again at the sunbeam, I'm sorry, the sunblast by atomic beam. I will say, I mentioned this earlier on in the video about the screws being a one-time, or you got to screw them in and unscrew them. That was kind of annoying, and you can't really tell, but I brought it anyway. After just the first removal, that screw is completely stripped, okay? So I know you're not buying this light um, for high-quality screws, but you should know you might end up using some other form of exterior screw if you have to move it. Now, my review for these things, this product here, it actually did a pretty good job, right? I mean, you saw it out there. I put it right next to this one. Although this motion sensor seemed to be a little better, this still kicked up just in time too. Um, I'll say what I really like about this product. I really like setting number one, where it's that dim light all the time, and then you come up to it, it gets brighter. I think that's really, really neat. For me, that's going to solve a problem that I've had out in my back hall or back exit way that we've been trying all sorts of different lighting and it just hasn't worked. The, the lights are too dim normal for LED lights. You have to run a cord. It's just inconvenient. So I like that part. Um, I noticed that the brightness of these are about the same, right? And so I wouldn't say this one's better than that one. I just think that your uses are going to be different. This one is mounted just once and in one direction, and that's it, right? This one you can move up and down. It has different settings. I like that. All this one does is have high and low. Now I will say this is the As Seen on TV product for 20 bucks and this is the As Seen on Amazon product for $26. So you are gonna spend a little bit more for this one, um, but you're getting a little bit more. I will say in talking with my wife, um, she wasn't too thrilled with the style of this. And I mentioned it early on um, that I said it looked like a spaceship, but that was really her telling me it looked like a spaceship. And it kind of looks like the front end of the Starship Enterprise. Remember that? Now I just need the two engine things here out back. So it is kind of interesting. I would like something that's maybe a little more appealing. Now I'm going to use this at least until I find something else. But to me, I agree. The design, um, it just doesn't look that attractive. Anyway, this was my review of the solar lamp or solar wall um, LED light and I compared it to the As Seen on TV Sunblast. Anyway, this was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and watching my videos. I want you to have a great day. So you might be asking yourself, well, which one won? You told us you were going to pick a winner between the As Seen on TV Sunblast or the LED solar lamp or solar wall lamp. Um, it was really hard to pick a winner. They have a lot of the same features. Um, they both run on solar. They're both LED. They both have motion detectors. Um, this one's 20 bucks. This one's 26 bucks. Um, I will say they're both bright. They both work well. This solar, I mean, this um, motion sensor works a little better than this one. But in the end, I'm going to end up picking this one as my winner. And the really the only reason 
is the three settings. If this one would have had different settings too, like it would stay dim all the time and light up, I probably would have picked this one. Actually, I would have picked this one, but that's the feature I'm going to be using with this product. So that's why I picked this one as the winner. Thanks again for watching my review of the LED solar wall light. If you hadn't already seen it, I would love it if you would click on the link right up here for the Atomic Bean Sunblast, okay? I only did it not too long ago. If you've already seen that, um, I'm going to link the TAC tool over here. I would love it if you would click this one over here if you've already seen the Atomic Bean Sunblast. Go ahead, click on one of those links. I appreciate your support.